Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you're all staying safe out there. Have a gorgeous condition saw to show you today. This is for one of the little McCulloch 130s. Beautiful little top handle saw from McCulloch, American saw, and made from the late 70s to the late 90s. They had a good lifespan and they changed CC capacity from. It started out 34 cc, it's a bit like the, if you can see it, the M3, the little quadra engineered John Seard badged saw, which I'm going to do a video for a bit later. And then the later ones went to a 32, so I don't know where this fits in, if it's the 34 or the 32. She is in absolutely beautiful condition, absolutely stunning condition all round. And they're very hard to find these um, in, this, in this overall condition. Chain brake working lovely, manual oiler working, has the original guide bar and chain. So this they run from a 12 to a 16. This one's got the little baby 13 inch bar fitted. And so she's going up on eBay as a collector saw. A little bit smaller and newer than I'm currently interested in. And so I'll show you how she performs, but they are it's strange in terms of build quality. So this is one of the little Quandra engineering saws started life a few years earlier, literally only a few years earlier. And they're both they're both magnesium alloy, and they both share the same displacement engine. The McCulloch is is just a work of art in terms of its construction. It's just it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so let's see how she performs. Everything working. Choke, kill switch, manual oiler, etc. They don't have throttle locks, which I think is is an oversight on these smaller engines because it does make them for some people, you know, trickier to start, particularly if they're cold, because you know you're kind of getting used to giving a bit of choke, holding a bit of throttle to get the engine running. But I guess like anything, once you've got the knack, it, it, it isn't too bad. Forgot to say then, so obviously starts revs beautifully. Got a little bit of larch, have a little bit of apple, so I'll do a few, just a handful of cuts, and hopefully give people an idea that this is suitable for them, for your garden. I mean, it's amazing. You're only, I think they're only four and a half kilos, so only about 10 pounds in weight, and just a beautiful footprint saw to use, or maybe just something for your man shed or man cave, because they, I just think they look fantastic. Okay, let's see how she performs.
guys what a beautiful beautiful running engine um make sure that's off has excellent compression and chain brake working oiling beautifully all the chassis bolts are intact all the way around she's just a beautiful beautiful original vintage top handle chainsaw so cuts really really well so I went through some apple tree it smells fantastic that's great burning the apple as well and ah, lots of little cuts to larch just a gorgeous gorgeous running saw do a quick walk around with the camera to give people a better idea of the condition dusty now but she'll be cleaned again before she is hung back up so chain with excellent life the original McCulloch 13 inch guide bar properly greased with Oregon grease on the nose wheel no damage to the pull start housing paint in amazing amazing condition correct filler caps oil and petrol all the screws present at the back paint excellent all the way around that's the serial number if any of you wanted to look that up if that's going to come clear And to the front, which she just has done, just virtually no work whatsoever. Just a beautiful, unused example of a 130, just with hardly any use. I'll quickly show her on a restart. Really powerful as well in the cut. I know that's only relatively small timber, but that's just a gorgeous, gorgeous running engine. So, kill switch. There she is, guys. Thanks for watching. It's just such a... It makes you realise just how effective as well and how nice it is to have a top handled saw available particularly i mean i'm not professionally trained with with chainsaws and i know that um, really for for proper handling of a top handled saw you know some form of formal training is probably a really really good idea um, but i've seen many tree surgeons working and just how effective they can be just one-handed limbing when they're working up in the you know off the ground up in a tree so there she is. There's the McCulloch 130. Thanks for watching, guys. Gonna get the M3 fueled and I'll do a video for her. Bye for now.